Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a mainstream CPU cooler from Glacial Tech, the Igloo 5710 Plus. So for those of you looking to buy a CPU cooler, uh, this one comes in two different uh, models. Today we're looking at the Plus Silent model, which has a 1300 RPM uh, fan on it. 19 dBA is the noise level, the max. So it's pretty silent. And uh, if you wanted a different type of fan, then you'd get the um, PWM model, which has an adjustable fan. Okay, so there's two different models, but they're basically the exact same size, same weight. Uh, everything else is basically identical, okay, except for the fan. So that's the only real difference between between both of them. Okay, so you can choose that for your mainstream uh, rig if you're uh, looking to build one of the latest uh, Athlon CPUs, for example, or or maybe a, a dual core CPU. Then you can use that, or even even a quad core. And we're going to review and, and test those out as well. Now, um, when it comes to the support for Intel CPUs, here's a list, right, that comes on the box. You can see here all the different types. So it will support the uh, latest Core i7s, i5s, and uh, your Intel Core 2 Duos. So you can see them right here listed. There's some examples, as well as the AMD CPUs. Okay, so you can see the wattages all the way up to 125, even 140. Okay, so not bad um, for a mainstream uh, CPU cooler. So those are a good list. Of course, there's newer CPUs out on the market that were not added onto this list on the box that it would also support. But as long as it's within that wattage range, then you'll be okay. Okay, so just uh, use that as a guide. Now taking a look here closer at the cooler itself, like I said, 1300 RPM fan. You could add another fan on the opposite side if you wanted. You'd have to get that on your own. But um, as you can see, it's nothing uh, out of the ordinary. It's got the regular four-pin plug for the fan and uh, the aluminum fins with three heat pipes going in on either side, as you can see, into those fins to um, help transfer and dissipate the heat out those uh, that massive heat sink there. Okay, so this is a pretty standard design. We've seen this for a while now. Uh, on the bottom, where the uh, base is, we've got already the thermal grease. The paste has already been applied on it. There's a thin coating already on there, so um, you don't need to worry about that. right? You don't need to use your own C uh, CPU thermal paste. Uh, you just uh, slap it on top, and then you're set. Okay, So that's pretty nice. I like the, uh, the, the, the copper heat pipes themselves. As you can see, they have a nice uh, chrome plating to it, so for looks. So that's pretty nice. Silver-looking... Um, cooler and um, looking at it from the base again if we look at the heat pipes they're really just regular heat pipes copper heat pipes going in through the flat surface when mounting it though uh, make sure that you choose the right kit right for AMD or for your Intel sockets so as you can see here I'm going to be installing this on a uh, AMD board so I'm using the uh, the kit that it came with with the attachments and it's pretty simple and straightforward just follow the instructions on there and uh, attach the uh, the brackets, and then that would attach to the plate and um, and to the CPU. Okay, so nothing out of the ordinary there, uh, but it's not one of those clip-on CPUs uh, coolers if you if you're used to those. Okay, so there you go. Once it's done, it's just a matter of um, putting the screws onto the motherboard and fastening it on there. And there it is. There it is installed, as you can see. And uh, this is a, a mini tower that I've got. So I've got it installed on obviously a micro ATX board. And I've got two different types of CPUs that I'm going to be testing this with because I use this case to test all kinds of stuff. And today we've got in here a pretty good system. We're going to be uh, testing out the Phenom 2 X2 550 and the Athlon uh, 2 X4 620. Okay, so uh, this uh, board that I'm using, the MSI board, uh, is a very very new board I've reviewed it previously here are the specs of the system okay so these are the two different CPUs that I'm overclocking on both and then testing how this CPU cooler will deal with the overclocking will deal with the stress that we're putting it on starting with the 3.8 gigahertz on the Phenom 2 X2 550 as you can see 40 degrees Celsius max 30 degrees Celsius um, on on um, no load okay so those are are some very good readings and for the um, Athlon 2 X4 at 3.1 gigahertz we've got 26 25 degrees Celsius roughly on idle and on full load again it's about 40 
41 degrees Celsius. So pretty consistent on the results there. This uh, CPU cooler mainstream keeping things at 40 degrees Celsius for those mainstream CPUs. Terrific uh, results. So if you're looking to uh, get a mainstream uh, rig built, this might be a choice for you. Okay, and it comes with all the different attachments that you need, like I said, for your AMDs and for your Intels. It's got the kits in there, so you don't have to worry about that, including the Core i7, right? So definitely recommend this for a mainstream rig. And I'd like to thank uh, Glacial Tech for providing it. And I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching.